This is how to do multi-threaded socket programming in C Sharp when you want to send a file, which is different than just sending small bits of text. Uh, it's different, right? So there's a lot of examples on the internet for sending small amounts of data. Sending a complete file is a different thing, so don't get confused. This is, I've implemented the server side of it in a console application. It can be done in a Windows form also. So this is the console aspect of it. First of all, you define your IP address. Then you define your endpoint, right? And that's the port that I'm going to communicate with the clients on. You open up a server socket like that, and then you bind that socket to your endpoint there. Then you listen for clients connecting, which I will show you in a second. Right? That's just some output uh, to uh, the console server start. Then you will go into your loop and wait for the client to connect. Then when the client connects, a client socket will be created when the client, the server socket accepts the client, which is this Windows form application, which will then will, will connect on this port and this IP address. I'll show you that in a second. Then when you've got your client socket, you will then spawn a thread to deal with that because this is multi-threaded, which means you'll have multiple clients. So you create a new thread to, to process the chat, or in this case, receiving a file from the client socket. So the client socket, the newly created client socket, will then go into this thread. And that's a counter for the number of connections that have been made so far, which I'm putting in there. Uh, just to give some feedback as to what's going on. So it the the client socket is now created. It goes into the do chat program, which is a new thread from here. Now this is where most of the work gets done. Well, all of the work. That's again just some feedback to the console. First of all, we have to define a buffer to hold the client data. That's the size. You can adjust that size. I'm leaving it at that. The client socket, then you instigate, you've got your client socket, which is your connection with the, the, the client. And the, we now receive the client data. Okay, now that client data is the file, but it contains other things and it has to be packed at the client end, which I will show you in a second. It, if it's packed in a particular format at the client end, it has to be unpacked at this end. And that's uh, where a lot of people will get into difficulty, right? So you've got, the client data will contain a file name beginning at the first byte and it will, it will go for four, uh, for four bytes. It's right. So you get the file, the length of the file name that has to be packed in into the from zero to four. And then you, the file name will be packed from here to here. So you know what this point is here because you know the length of file name so you can therefore work out your calculations to get to the data which is after that that's that star is the length the 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 file the length of the file name plus four because the file the the actual length itself is a number that goes into there and that's that, that could be 50 in there right and then you got that's 50 there so then you can get to the file data right? so you have to then get at that data so the file name will begin at client data four, starts at four, and you then take the file name length, which we've just got from zero to four when we got the bit converter to get that one. You know how much bits to take uh, to get the file name. Right. Then you will get your client data, and you will read the client data from four, so it goes for file name length, which is then this bit, and then the received is the, the entire the, the received by the entire length of what we've actually got back, minus the four and minus the this bit here. So that gives you the amount of uh, the client data from here to the very end of the array, and then you uh, you 
write that. That's it. You've opened up a file here, which is create, and you've got your file name. I'm appending a account there on the end of that. That's what that aim is for. Other than that, it's just a file name, which we've actually got from the receipt. So it preserves the same file name, opens up a uh, stream, and then it outputs that, uh, writes the, the array, the byte array into the, into the file, right? So that's how it's packed. And that's uh, one thread to do with that. So I look at the packing aspect of that. Now I put all of this in the form uh, into a, uh, a send file function, right? And at the moment I'm using drag drop, uh, so I drop a file on, so it's onto the text box. So I'm really just getting send file, and then I've got the name of the file on the hard disk, and that gets for So that's all it is, right? So you can, if you want, you can just use this directly, and I, you could even hard code it, a uh, file name in there. Uh, and, and, and work with the code. So first of all, you got to connect to the server. So you uh, server is at that IP address. Create your endpoint on port 33004, and then you connect. Uh, no, you have you just it's just set up as you connect down here, right? So the file name again is either passed in here, or you can hard code it in there. The file name byte is a byte array of the the uh, of the file name, right? If the length of it is uh, file name by length of the that byte array there. The file data is just reading it all into a byte array, and then the client data is packing everything together. So we'll put in four. This is the entire size array. You need four. You need the file name uh, by length, the length of the actual file name, the, the array, the byte array containing the file name, the length of it. Four is. Uh, the length of the uh, zero to four will contain the file uh, name length. It'll get copied in there, file name length, and the file data then is at the other end. So that's how it's packed and then unpacked, which I've just gone over. So the file name, uh, name length gets copied to the client data starting at zero, and it will be four bytes. The File name byte then gets copied in at from four. The actual file name starts at four and goes on as uh, as uh, the uh, file name length, which is defined here. And then the file data gets copied four from file name byte length, which is that plus the four defining that length and the actual file name itself packed into here. And then the file data is from there o over. So the file data gets uh, gets copied in. There, so we've got our file data gets copied into the client data, and then the client data uh, holds everything. Again, connect to the server using this function, and then you send your array, and then the server then picks it up here, and then it gets unpacked. And that's how you do multi threaded client server socket in C. -sharp. Uh, I'll give you a demonstration. That's the console. And that's one of the clients. Uh, okay, two clients. And two clients there. And then I'm going to take this file here, drop it in there. The server then picks it up. And am I putting it here with the count? I'll do another one there, and there, and another one there. And that's how it does it. There. Four, and it keeps on. One, two, three, and four. So that's, uh, that's, that's how you do it. I will put a link to the code for these two projects in the description section of this video. And uh, you can download that. And uh, again, sending files, streaming files is different than just sending small amounts of data. Uh, a lot of examples on, on the net, but they, uh, they're mixing it up. And a lot of people then start trying to do the server with a small amount of data, and then they start streaming, they get confused. So it, it's totally different, right? Okay.